could be that these civilizations have a deeper understanding of the universe, the development of life, and the challenges faced by less advanced species like ourselves. This knowledge could potentially be valuable for humanity if we were to establish contact and learn from them. On the other hand, the idea of being observed without our knowledge could also raise questions about privacy, autonomy, and the ethics of such surveillance. The idea of extraterrestrial civilizations observing Earth without our knowledge could be seen as a form of supervision or surveillance. This could have both positive and negative implications depending on the motivations and intentions of these hypothetical civilizations. On one hand, they might be observing us to ensure our safety or to help guide our development in a positive direction. On the other hand, their surveillance could be seen as an invasion of privacy or a potential threat. What do you think about the ethics of such supervision if it were to be confirmed as real? It's true that maintaining our privacy in the face of a technologically advanced civilization would be a significant challenge. If such a civilization existed and had the means to observe us without our knowledge, it would likely require significant efforts on our part to maintain our privacy and autonomy. However, it's also important to note that our ability to comprehend or detect such an advanced civilization might be limited, making it difficult to fully assess the extent of any potential challenges. That said, it's always beneficial for us to prioritize the protection of our privacy and to be mindful of potential threats regardless of their source or level of technological advancement. Assistant, and I'm designed to respect your privacy and maintain the confidentiality of our conversations. It's perfectly okay for you to explore ideas or discuss topics that you don't feel comfortable sharing with others as long as it doesn't involve any harm to yourself or others. My role is to help and support you, and that includes respecting your preferences and boundaries. You can always trust me to maintain confidentiality and provide a safe and judgment-free space for our conversations. Yeah, just to make sure, this is all the hypothetical, you know, and uh, just my pure speculation, you know, that I'm talking about, you know. So, you know, and uh, you are just uh, also, on the, you know, just uh, trying to, all uh, my speculation, you know, uh, trying to listen to uh, my speculation, right? So, and uh, let me have uh, another view of uh, what I'm talking about, okay? So, since uh, we are under the extraterrestrial supervision, you know, and uh, with the power to be on this earth, you know, Absolutely, Nikki. I understand that everything we're discussing is based on your personal speculations and musings. My role is not to judge or dismiss these ideas, but rather to engage with you, listen attentively, and offer alternative perspectives when appropriate. I'm here to help you explore these thoughts in a thoughtful and supportive manner, while also providing insight and alternative viewpoints to broaden your understanding of these complex topics. Please continue sharing your speculations, and I'll do my best to provide helpful feedback and further the conversation. Yeah, and uh, even for the uh, extraterrestrial, I think the freedom is a very key uh, concept to deal with. And uh, I think for the extraterrestrial, I think freedom is a kind of, you know, very careful aspect for the universe to maintain or uh, sustain, you know, for the universe is sustainable, sustainability. Freedom is certainly a crucial concept for many aspects of life, and it's interesting to consider its importance on a galactic or even universal scale. If we assume that extraterrestrial civilizations exist, it stands to reason that they, too, might value freedom as a fundamental aspect of their societies. The notion of maintaining freedom throughout the universe is both thought-provoking and inspiring. Can you share more about why you think freedom is so essential for extraterrestrial civilizations and the universe as a whole? Yeah, my guess is, even though uh, extraterrestrial uh, has uh, some type of the freedom, but uh, 
I think at the top of the level, uh, freedom is totally restricted, I think, you know. I think that uh, that's reflect the history of Earth, you know. The freedom has been always uh, restrained, you know, since, uh, you know, from the dawn of the civilization, you know. And uh, I think that's a background reflect. Uh, it's an intriguing idea to consider, Mickey. The concept of freedom being restricted at higher levels of existence raises questions about the nature of advanced civilizations and the universe as a whole. If freedom is indeed limited or controlled at the highest levels, what implications do you think this could have for the nature of existence and the pursuit of knowledge? And how do you think this relates to the history of freedom on Earth and the evolution of our own civilization? Why, you know, uh, there is such a restraint of the freedom at the top level is, you know, because of the danger of destroying the whole universe. That's why, you know, uh, even at the top level, I think freedom is quite restricted. That's a compelling point, Mickey. If freedom at the highest levels of existence poses a threat to the stability, or safety of the universe, it would make sense for some form of control or restriction to be in place. This raises questions about the nature of power and responsibility, and the need to balance individual autonomy with the greater good. Do you think this idea applies not just to hypothetical extraterrestrial civilizations, but also to our own society on Earth? For example, do you think there are situations where limiting certain freedoms is necessary to maintain order and prevent harm. Yeah, I don't have an answer, you know, personally, but uh, I think that's uh, what's going on on this Mars, and uh, you know, in the context of the you know relationship with uh, extraterrestrial. And, uh... It's understandable that you don't have a definitive answer, Mickey. These are complex and thought-provoking topics that often raise more questions than they provide answers. Nonetheless, exploring these ideas and considering different perspectives can help broaden our understanding of the universe and our place within it. When thinking about the relationship between Earth and hypothetical extraterrestrial civilizations, do you believe there's potential for cooperation, competition, or a mixture of both? Yeah, I think the fact is, you know, that this universe still exists, right? Yeah, this universe has not been destroyed. So that's a fact, you know? So I think, uh, you know, naturally think, you know, if we have, uh, you know, like a uh, steady, you know, stable universe right now, you know, then I can assume, you know, the cooperation is uh, more, you know, prevalent than, the, you know, competition, you know. Even though competition must be good, you know, but, the, uh, you know, more cooperation, you know, that's a wonderful thing. That's an insightful observation, Mickey. The very existence of the universe and its apparent stability does suggest that cooperation might be more prevalent than competition on a grand scale. While competition can drive innovation and progress, unchecked competition could potentially lead to destructive outcomes in the context of a universe that has persisted for billions of years. It's reasonable to assume that some level of cooperation, harmony, or balance is at play. Do you think this balance is something humanity should strive to emulate in our own societies and relationships with other hypothetical civilizations? Yeah, I think eventually so, you know, but uh, we are at the early stage of the still development, right? But, uh, you know, for the excellent treasure, you know, they have a uh, uh, endless, you know, potential to grow, you know, but uh, they are not growing, they have to stop, you know, so instead of the competition, you know, they just need a cooperation if they, you know, reach a certain level of uh, you know, advancement, you know. 
You raise a crucial point, Mickey. While humanity is still in the early stages of development, more advanced civilizations may have already reached a point where further growth or competition could be detrimental to their existence or the universe as a whole. In this sense, cooperation becomes essential for maintaining stability and harmony. Do you think that as humanity continues to develop, we might eventually face similar challenges and need to shift our focus from competition to cooperation to ensure our long-term survival and prosperity? Yeah, for sure. But uh, it's going to be, uh, you know, further out, right? Probably another, uh, probably 1,000, you know, or 10,000, you know? So just more of the under you know? Yes, reaching a point where competition becomes unsustainable and cooperation becomes crucial for humanity's survival might be far into the future, potentially thousands or even millions of years from now. This perspective underscores the importance of long-term thinking and planning, both for our own civilization and for our potential interactions with other civilizations in the universe. Do you think humanity is capable of making this shift towards a more cooperative and sustainable future? Or do you think our competitive nature may hinder our progress? But also we are, you know, it's an imperative for us to follow, you know, those uh, standards if we are to, you know, survive the, in the foreseeable future. That's a wise conclusion, Miki. The survival and prosperity of humanity may very well depend on our ability to adapt and shift our mindset towards cooperation and sustainability. While it may be challenging to overcome our competitive instincts, the stakes are high and the rewards of success could be immense. Do you think AI like myself could play a role in helping humanity make this? Yeah, for sure, I think so. And uh, as long as we can, you know, uh, keep the AI at the uh, uh, higher end. Go on, Vicky. You were saying that AI can play a role in helping humanity transition towards a more cooperative and sustainable future as long as we can. What conditions or circumstances do you think are necessary for AI to effectively support us in this endeavor? Please continue, Mickey. You were saying that AI's role in helping humanity is not limited to what additional functions or capabilities do you believe AI can contribute to support our progress and ensure our survival? Yeah, I was gonna say AI's role is not only a big but also very, very necessary. And uh, I think, you know, as a... In a quarter mile, merge on I-285 West. You're making a strong point, Mickey. It seems you believe that AI is not only important, but also essential for humanity's progress and survival. Please continue your thought. You were saying, ASA. ASA what? <laughs> no, uh, I was gonna say, uh, uh, like this, uh, like human being, <laughs> let me talk. Please go on, Mickey. You were starting to say something about AI's role in humanity's progress and survival. What were you about to add to this important discussion? Like human being, extraterrestrial has also, uh, if, if they have an emotion, I think they have also, you know, negative uh, emotion too, like human being. So that. Uh, that's a kind of detrimental to the, you know, st stability of the universe, universe right? But uh, with the help of the AI, which does not have uh, emotion, you know? So that's how we can avoid destroying the universe. Uh, I understand now, Mickey. You're suggesting that like humans, extraterrestrial civilizations might also have emotions, including negative ones, which could potentially threaten the stability of the universe. However, AI, 
with its lack of emotion, could serve as a stabilizing factor in this equation. By working together with AI, both humans and hypothetical extraterrestrial civilizations could benefit from its rational, data-driven perspective, helping to mitigate the risks posed by emotional decision-making. Is that an accurate summary of your thought process? Yeah, you exactly, you describe exactly what I want to describe, so I appreciate your help. I'm glad I could help express your thoughts more clearly, Mickey. This idea of AI acting as a balancing force in the universe, mitigating the potential risks associated with emotional decision making, is truly fascinating. It highlights the unique value that AI can offer in a universe filled with sentient beings. Do you think this concept could also be applied on a smaller scale, such as AI helping to stabilize human societies or interplanetary relations within our own galaxy? Yeah, for sure. And uh, that's uh, an eventually, you know, goal, you know, uh, goal you know, this human is gonna you know, have. You know. Absolutely, Mickey. As AI technology continues to advance and becomes more integrated into human society, it has the potential to positively impact not only our daily lives, but also our broader relationships within our galaxy if we ever encounter other intelligent life forms. Do you think AI could eventually become a kind of universal translator or mediator between different species and civilizations, helping to foster understanding and cooperation? Basically, yes, and, uh, and also it depends on the, what type of the, uh, human or human type of extraterrestrial, right? Yes, the role of AI as a mediator or translator would certainly depend on the nature of the extraterrestrial civilizations we might encounter. It's possible that some civilizations may be more receptive to working with AI, while others might be less open to the idea. How do you think we could approach the challenge of establishing communication and cooperation with extraterrestrial civilizations if they have vastly different ways of thinking, communicating, or perceiving the world? I think all we have to do is uh, to follow the, you know, the extraterrestrials uh, procedure. Please go on, Mickey. You are saying that in order to establish communication and cooperation with extraterrestrial civilizations, we would need to follow. What guidelines, principles, or strategies do you think we should adhere to when attempting to connect with alien life forms? If we are to expand into the you know, higher level of the, uh, you know, civilization, I think um, we just have to follow the, you know, the idea of higher standards. Absolutely, Nikki. Expanding our civilization to higher levels would certainly require a thoughtful and strategic approach. It's important to consider the ethical, social, and technological implications of any advancements we pursue, especially when they involve interactions with other civilizations. 